Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, sir, of the 2020 Podcast, LLC. Please say the LLC. And before you listen to this episode, I just got to let you know, I need you to stop what you're doing. Go to blkrenaissance.com, and I need you to shop for the culture. That's right. Anytime you use the promo code LLC20 at Black Renaissance Clothing's website, you will get 20% off your order. Off rip. No questions asked. So do me a favor and do it for the culture. Peace. Hey y'all, it's your girl Sade with Black on Black Rhyme. Step to the mic. Mic check. People always ask me where I get my confidence from. And I get it from inside. It's an inside thing, y'all. And when it comes to beautiful skin, I rock with Blendia by India. Where her motto is, be confident in your skin. She has a variety of naturally made soaps to keep you smelling good. Hair products for long, luscious, healthy hair. And even beer products for men. You know, we gotta keep those struggle beers away. So visit Visit BlendiaByIndia.com and use promo 2020skin to get 10% off your order. Thank you, Blendia by India, for being a sponsor of the 2020 Podcast LLC. Please say the LLC. Hey, this is Butter So Fly of Power Lines Poetry, here to let you know anytime I feel good, I have to look good, so you have to listen to me. Make sure you go to GuruDesigns.com, use a 3 instead of an E. The website is great, so you can get something for yourself. And then she makes custom clothes for men, too. And guess what? I got a promo code for you. Use 20 slash 20, and it'll get you 15% off of any order, $25 or more. You can't beat that. Go to gurudesigns.com. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Mm-hmm. Okay, we lit it just like a fuse, so no need to pick and choose. Welcome to 2020, where we do more than interviews. The hottest beat coming through, dropping knowledge on all of you. Get a peek at the front of you with the truth that they offer you. Yeah, hands up, we do it for the culture. To give artists and businesses more exposure. Keep it real and stay solid just like a boulder. It's about to go all the way down, can get no lower. Chasing my dreams, know that they get no slower. But if I stay running, I promise they're getting closer. More over success, my older. And if you're sleeping on me, I'm waking them up like folders. I told you, coming from the land with the tide roll, we'll be on the whole different vibe though we like to ride slow and keep our windows tinted so you really can see us like stevie wonder waking up with his eyes closed yeah got the kind of flow that rocked the boat on my 16s of pounds of dope and if you figure you can hang with me on the mic then grab some rope matter of fact better grab some hope while you at it we keep it live it's time to tune in turn up the sound on what you're using it goes so hard i think it's bruising the show is 2020 no need to zoom in yeah Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, sir, of the 2020 Podcast, LLC. Please say the LLC. And today, I got a special guest, Miss Courtney of Jack of All Trades. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I can't complain. And even if I could, you wouldn't want to hear that. So, but anyway, (laughs) we are here to discuss you, ma'am. You are a a, a local celebrity of sorts. You know, you've recently been on the news, you know. Changing lives, touching people in, you know, the, the United, uh, well, not the United States, but in Alabama, outside of Alabama, you've just been reaching out and uh, leaving your stamp and leaving an impression on people. So uh, we Absolutely. linked up, you know, yes. and we want to make this happen. So uh, before we go any further, I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to do this interview. You know, you did Most not definitely. have to. And, you know, on our platform, we really appreciate entrepreneurs for sharing their lives with us. So. Let's go ahead and kick it off and get started. So if anybody was to ask uh, what Jack of all trades was about, like the functionality of it, what would you tell them? The functionality of Jack of all trades is to promote overall health and to grow your natural well-being as far as just healing you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Now, Jack of all trades originated from my children. Um, My oldest son's name is Andrew. The second son's name is Chance. My last son's name was Josiah. So I took those three letters of their names and I I said, what word could I create with those names? Um, That's how I came up with the JAC for Jack. Um, I'm also a licensed bartender. I do hair on the side. Uh, (laughs) I've held so many job titles. So I said, well, there go the trade. 
So we're going to come up with Jack of all trades. Now, that's where the name originated from. But I, I came up with this health and wellness thing, and I wanted to just promote overall health and wellness for someone who's not just sick, but also someone who wants to be healthy. It, you don't necessarily have to be sick. Just if you want your skin to get better, if, if you want, you know, um, like one of my customers said, if you want to be snatched like a bad child at the grocery store, CMOS <laughs> gel is definitely what you need. <laughs> right. And she and she's a potential customer. She is faithful. She has not stopped. And so um, that's the overall functionality of Jack of all trades. OK. And, and how long have you been active as a business? I have been active for three months now. I have been a sea mouse junkie, as they say, mm. for two years. But oh, wow. I started selling it um, for three months ago. OK, OK. So yeah. let's let's get into the sea moss gel, because this is have been the t well the topic of different health experts. And you're, you're seeing it more and more in a pop culture nowadays, you know, bringing yeah. it to the forefront. So what inspired you to start, you know, a business centered around CMOS gel? My mother, my mother, um, a couple months back, my mother, um, went to the, went to the doctor. She thought she had COVID, got a bad report from the doctor that her arteries weren't, um, her blood flow in her arteries weren't working the way that they should. And so, um, they gave her the decision to, I, I, I want to say they gave her 14 days to make the decision on if she wanted to get like stents put in her heart mm -hmm. or she wanted to have like, um, an open heart surgery. And I created, um, well for her, I created it for her. And it was something new for me because me taking CMOS in the beginning, I would just put it in maybe like a smoothie or something like that, mm -hmm. um, for her. I came up with the creation of putting fruit in this jar and adding all naturals to it. And I told her, I said, mom, take this, don't mix it with nothing, put it in the refrigerator, take it once a day. And, um, my mother went to the doctor and when she went to the doctor, she called me, she said, do I tell the doctor about this stuff? And I said, um, uh, I wouldn't because it wasn't told to you by the doctor to take it. Mm. But, positive report no more fluid around her her wrist no more fluid around her ankles um the clogged artery completely cleared it was just like an open airway mm. um and so it's like she was just healed it was like you know she was born again newborn baby completely healthy you know and, and for in literally 14 days she was healthy as if nothing was wrong with her and oh so she she was the inspiration behind all of it. You she know, was definitely my inspiration. She she was the CMOS person that she she and when I gave it to her, it was like, Courtney, you got to tell some people about this stuff. And mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know, Mama, because that was for you. You know, right. that's how I looked at it. That was for you. That's when COVID really, really just outspread it and broke out. And I gave it to another individual and I told her to take it because I seen her hair falling on the floor. Um, her nails were so thin where they were breaking. And I mean, I gave her a jar. Hey, try this out. And that's what I tell a lot of my customers. Just try it. Just take it. Don't tell me what you're taking it for. Just take it. Mm. And I, so, I, yes. I, I, I like the fact that you leave it up to the customer. To get their yeah, own most experience. definitely most definitely okay. now if you ask me had what does it do i can tell you what it has done for me and my children and my youngest he's gonna be one years old so i can tell you what it has done for us i can't tell you what to take it for i, I can and and when i give it to when i sell it to the customer i make sure that i put additional health information how does it help your thyroid function? How does it help your um, immune system build up? How does it reduce anxiety? You know, it's, it's, and you can read up on it. I tell a lot of customers, read it before you buy it, read up on it. But when they buy it, it's definitely working. I have not had one customer say it has not worked. And even if I sold it to you 
um, and say you took it for arthritis. I, if you were bald headed, your hair didn't grew back on your head. Hmm. Your nails didn't grow out of the blue. Again, these are my nails. I had to tell the news station. These are my, I, I used to bite my nails so bad. Why, where I get it from, I don't know. But my nails have tremendously grown. I don't even have to get false nails on my hands. Goodness. Yes. Okay. So well, it's I, great. I, I, I love the fact that you educate along with, you know, meeting a supply and demand, you know, ratio there. So that's, that's amazing. So let me ask you this, you know, being a new to business, you know, starting yeah. this business three months ago, were there any obstacles that you encountered along the way? Um, yes, yes, yes. There were a couple obstacles that I encountered. Um, I've had actually, <laughs> I've had a customer, um, a potential customer, let's say last week, he called and he was very irate, I would say. Um, he was like, I watched your article. How do you know it works? You say it works for everything. Why would you say it works for everything? And you don't even know that it works for everything. Well, um, I had to handle it in a very nice, nasty way. Mm -hmm. I'm a businesswoman. I do know that I have served, um, 300 plus people including people that's overseas in Hawaii. Um, and one thing that I do know is that I get a positive report every time. Again, I never, ever ask you, what are you taking it for? And, and when people ask me what the CMOS does, it does everything that you need it to do. That's typically my answer, because if you look up CMOS gel, it's going to tell you that it contains 92 nutrients and your body needs 102 in order for you to breathe okay so 92 nutrients in your body from this one element you're only missing 10 nutrients so what i say is it works for everything and he was again he was very irate why why do you say it works for everything i need something for eczema i need something to clear my skin right well, you probably need to try it because I have a couple of eczema um, customers that has taken it and their skin has cleared. Just mm. taking it by mouth is enough. You're taking in what you need to take in by mouth. It's not a pill. You know, it's something that you refrigerate. It's a gel and it's mixed with all natural products along with fruit to give it flavor so that you don't have to consume those natural products or it don't make you gag or throw up or whatever so it's definitely something that's trending as i would say um and it was something that i created now there are other um potential salesmen or vendors or whatever that sell cmos their mm -hmm. cmos is strictly for weight loss i supported a couple people and i bought it and it, and, and again it works it works for weight loss um and so i i get that a lot I get that a lot. Um, and that's another obstacle that I have. A lot of people say, well, I just, I want to do more than lose weight. Well, it does more than just weight, you know, weight loss It's mm -hmm. for one, it suppresses your appetite. It, it helps with weight loss. Um, I do know that if you were on an oxygen tank or a ventilator during this COVID pandemic and you took it in, in, in for instance, if you took an oxygen tank home, if you take one jar of CMOS, you're not no longer you no longer need oxygen. You can breathe on your own. I get that from a lot of customers. I can breathe without the Flonase, without the Benadryl, with this weather changing. I can breathe better. I can do whatever I need to do. Um, there was one lady told me, Courtney, I cannot walk up a flight of stairs. And I told her, I said, take your CMOS and then go home. And I want you to go up three stairs for me and come back and tell me tomorrow what happened. She said, not only did I go up three, I went up a flight of stairs. I actually moved a sofa upstairs. She said, and I promise you, I haven't been able to do that in years. So it's definitely, you know, um, it's very positive, but of course you're going to have some obstacles along the way. It's always somebody that says, are you licensed? And I have to break it down to them. 
I made sure that I dotted all my I's and I crossed my T's before I sold one jar. That's why it was given to my mother. And then I had to research on how do you get an LLC and how do you, you know, patent your product and how do you do all this stuff as far as a business? So I had to go and create my own business, business cards, business logos, business posters. I have a business. So that's a lot of things that I have to implement to people as well. Um, I am licensed to sell this stuff, you know, and, and those are, yeah. Uh, besides the irate customers who feel like I know it all, mm. besides the people that, oh, I don't think that stuff is going to heal me. I've had a couple people ask about the LLC and are you licensed to do this? And do you think you're going to get in trouble? No, I don't. That is, you know, and uh, I'm glad you shared that, you know, a lot of times people uh, tell of stories of, you know, the encounters they have with trying to get information. But sometimes those non-believers or those naysayers can be an obstacle themselves. So it's always good right. to hear, you know, that side of the table. So you mentioned right. something earlier that I kind of want to wrap back around to. OK, you're you're not just a business owner, your mom. You know, uh, you have, you know, several other talents as well. You know, you're a stylist and and when you're a stylist, you're a part time therapist, too, because people do come to you with their issues and they want to talk. So right. let me ask, how do you manage to balance your work and oh. your personal life? Believe it or not, I write a lot of things down, mm. not just. When I get to work, I have a checklist that I go by because I'm a um I'm an HR assistant at a distribution company. That's my that's my full time job, and so I'm not only um writing things down at work. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, I have to write things down at home. I have a little notepad, a little sketch pad, um, and I have to write iron the kids' clothes for the week, mm. wash the white clothes on this day. Wash the colored clothes on this day. Make sure that the lawn is good. Make sure that the flowers are good outside. I made sure that I write um, pretty much everything down and I scratch it off. Everything is like a checklist. That's how I manage the balance because my older two children, they are now into sports. Um, now we're in this soccer phase, headed to the football phase. So I work Monday through Friday, um, eight to five. So Saturdays are strictly for my children. Sunday is wind down day when we go to church. And um, I have uh, learned how to balance when it comes down to CMOS. I had to learn how to balance. It was either balance or lose your mind. It, it, mm -hmm. It's either one of the two. Um, when I started becoming popular with the product, I had a lot of people say, can you bring it to me? I'm so sick. I can't, I can't drive. I can't walk. I can't move. And so I have, a, again, a sketch pad strictly for CMOS. I have one side that I flip open and I have shipping at the top. So if you live in Louisiana, um, if you live in Biloxi, Mississippi, if you live in Hawaii, Austin, Texas, I got your name, your address and your telephone number down. I have to keep up with all of that stuff. So it's not really just the delivering and receiving service, but it's also like an accounts payable because what about those people who can't cash out me and PayPal me that's in their 60s and their 70s? So I have to wait on their check to come in the mail or I got to wait on them to send me a money order before I can cash it. So it's a lot. It is so, at first it was overwhelming but then I had to learn. So on Saturday mornings, early in the morning, I do my deliveries. If you live in a in a central location, say Moffitt Road, um, Spring Hill Avenue, I'll get you to meet me in between the two. And so that's how you get your uh, CMOS. Now it has become better because I have, again, the same customers. I know that if I, if I sell it to you and it's good for you, you're going to come back. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I've learned that. And now it has gotten so good to where my customers would buy 12 to 15 at a time wow. and resell them just to save me a trip, just to save me gas. So, hey, I can make 
you know, let's say $300, $400 from one person, and then they're going to go and resell the product. Miss Courtney, that, that was to save you gas and time and energy. So I do have those customers that look out and appreciate me and do things for me as well. Um, I've had another guy and I didn't know where he worked, but he worked at a printing shop. And I sold him two jars. Never knew what he took it for. Um, come to find out, he was taking it for, um, I want to say his legs or something. He said he was having problems like muscle spasms. That that's what it was. Cramps, um, child horses, muscle spasms. So he was taking it for that. And he he called me one day. Um, him and his assistant called me one day and said, "Listen, can you come by after work?" And I said, "Well, um, I don't have any sea moss, but I can go home and get you some." No, we don't need any CMOS. We need you to come up here. But when I tell you big, beautiful printouts, like build, like poster boards, hardback poster boards with my product, my company name, my logo, uh, Miss Courtney, that's for you. There's a thousand business cards for you. This is what wow. we do every day. We print and we do this stuff. But for you, because of how you helped us, because of how you heal, they always say I'm a healer. Because of how you healed us, we're going to give you this and this is for you. And you take it everywhere you go. And when I tell you, it has helped me tremendously. Like I've done two events so far. Um, I'm trying to go to the Sip and Shop event in Atlanta, um, mm -hmm. June 24th, I believe, if that's, if that's the right date, 20, 24th, 25th. Mm -hmm. um, I was invited to come to Atlanta to do their pop-up shop. So I want to make people familiar with me. Um, mm -hmm. And I do that by balance. And, the, and and like I said, balance is writing everything down. I have a million pieces of paper just floating around the house. But I know that once I do what I need to do, I check it off. Mm -hmm. So that's how I balance my life as a mother, as a HR assistant, as a daughter, as a granddaughter, cousin, you know, whatever. <laughs> right. That's how I balance. I write everything down. Yes. All right. Well, I, I love that. I'm an advocate of that as well, uh, because it's very easy to get cluttered when you're a business owner. You know? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so I, I advocate for writing things down as well. Now, let me ask you this next question, because this goes into a little bit of those memories. You know, uh, obviously you had, uh, you know, the moment where you just were, you know, doing your part you know, changing lives and then obviously left an impression and then a whole publishing company, you know, decided mm -hmm. to invest back into you so you could reach other people, which is amazing with right. memories like that. Are there any other memories that you would say are the most memorable that just stand out to you when it comes to reflecting back on, you know, like the thing about starting a business is you're unsure. Sometimes when things get quiet, you don't know you know, if you're in the right place sometimes. So was there any moment where you, you know, maybe affected someone and it kind of reaffirmed that this is why you do it? Yes. Um, I would say my mother again, she was, she, she was, she was the one that gave me that light that, that, okay. I know, I know what I did was right. And, um, there are plenty times that I, after my mother called me and told me, Hey, I'm good. I feel good. Whatever you did, it worked. Um, I thought about my grandmother, my grandmother passed away in 2000, um, from breast cancer. And I always, it made my heart smile that my mother said, hey, I feel good, Courtney, no fluid, no nothing. The doctor said no pacemaker, no stents, no open heart surgery. But I always think back like Courtney. And, and, and again, 2000, I was eight years old. But I always think about if you could just go back and just give your grandmother this stuff. Because mm -hmm. I have gave it to someone with breast cancer. And trust me. They are kicking. When I tell you, hey, you one thing, nothing is wrong with them. I always think about my grandmother and um, I pray 
over every, after I'm done making my jars and I have a big, huge countertop in my kitchen, I line all my jars up and I be praying, you know, mm. in Jesus name. I, I, I touch every single jar, but I, again, there is not one jar that no one has brought back unless you just let it sit in the heat and mold and mildew, then, hey, that was on you. But um, every jar that I have gave out, it has helped. But I always, um, and, and I mean, when I pray, I always tell my grandmother, you know, this for you, this for you. I dedicate my my business to you. I know it's named um, and originated for my children, but I always, you know, granted this for you because that's what we call the granny granted this is for you this is for you because this is how you heal people holistically as they Mm -hmm. call it without the prescribed medications and without these surgeries for you to get cut on and all this good stuff but after my mother that was one customer she um and i love her and she tell me every single time i talk to her i love you so much but i gave her Three jars. She had COVID, pneumonia, bronchitis, and she's an asthmatic. If she laid on her left side, she had indigestion where she couldn't really breathe um, freely. She couldn't swallow a lot. But I gave her the jar and I told her, I said, listen, I'm not experimenting on you because I know it's going to work. Before I, and she was the second person to try it. I gave it to my mother first. She was second. I said, I just need you to take this stuff. And you should have seen her. When I took it to her house, she was rolling her oxygen tank. Tubes was flowing out of her nose and everything. But I took her the jar and I watched her within three weeks progress. Mm. And then I finally got that call from her and she was like, Guess what happened? And she was like, the medical equipment company just came and picked up my oxygen tank. Well, the doctors told me that I was going to be on this oxygen for probably the next six, seven months. She does not have oxygen anymore. She can breathe on her own. Wow. I mean, and then I started following her, like where she would just be in the house. She would be scared to go out and get exposed to anybody, anything. I started watching her page, um, pedicure, manicure. Her daughter graduated from college. Her son just graduated from high school. Her husband um, reproposed to her after 24 years of marriage. I wow. watched her just, I mean, literally, she was like a crumbled up cookie before I took her that jar. But I tell her every single time I take her a jar, and she always tell me, you it was you that helped me. Um, she was my motivation to just push, mm. you know. And then I started reaching out to immediate friends and family, and I started telling them about it. And just about all of my immediate family is taking it, and they have not stopped taking it, um, whether it's for energy, whatever, you know. They, they've been doing great with it. So she, uh, besides my mother, she would be the person that... Um, was like an inspiration to me. All right. I love that. Now, yeah. with with being in a new business, you know, I like to think long term because I don't want this to be just a, a short term thing. I love to see success build upon itself and create a legacy for others like your family members. You know, you mentioned your children. I would love to right. see this continue. So I wanted to ask you what I call my learn long term question. Where would you like to see yourself? and jack of all trades in one year, in three years, and then in 10 years? In one year, um, I want to see myself. And and I'm, and I'm a, let me rephrase that. In one year, because I'm going to speak it into existence, Mm -hmm. I'll be traveling around the world telling people how powerful this stuff is. Um, in three years, I have my own health and wellness shop where I'll expand and I'll um, be selling more than sea moss. It'll be more holistic medicines that you can take that you could um, heal yourself mm. versus going to a doctor 
or seeing a psychiatrist or whatever it is that, you know, the, a customer may see. Um, in 10 years, I'd probably be a billionaire, probably on national TV, because that's what I keep telling myself. You're going to have a multi-million dollar business when you're done. Because it's more people that's getting sick and it's more, and, and believe it or not, I have more men buying it than women. Mm. So. All right. Well, I, 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 I salute you on those long terms. And I love the fact that you said you're going to speak it into existence. Yeah, um, that's it. This is going to happen. I'm all for manifestation. For one jar for one person. Mm -hmm. And hey, I didn't sold over three, over 300 jars and left out of my refrigerator. Hey, Whether I, it was going in the priority mailbox or it was going in my car to get delivered. So we right. good, hey, you know. You're delivering health and I'm I'm for it. So I, I definitely <laughs> right. see you absolutely see you moving forward. So right. that's going to bring me to my last question, Miss Courtney, because I know you got things to do. So my final question is this, and it's, it's more of a question I dedicate to the listeners out there. The hardest yeah. thing to do in the world is to take an idea and share it with the world. Right. What words of encouragement would you have for somebody who have an idea, but they're afraid to act on it? Oh, wow. OK. Um, my favorite quote, and it comes from uh, Clifford T.I. Tip Harris. I right. always tell people this. Stop looking at what you do not have and start looking and be thankful for what you have already. There were plenty of nights when I was like, man, I hope they heal that woman or I hope they heal that man. Man, I hope they come back. I had to stop worrying about, you know, if you don't get the if you don't get the reviews, if you don't get the testimonials, don't worry mm -hmm. about it. They're coming back. Trust me, they're coming back. And it started coming back all at one time, like literally all at one time. I went from per I went from serving sea moss and, and shipping sea moss made to order to now I have to take it with me everywhere I go. I don't care if I'm going to the grocery store. Somebody is going to call me and say, hey, I'm down. I'm out. I need it. Um, Perfect example, I um, have a cousin and she's been sick. And she, I sold a jar to her yesterday. Mm -hmm. And before she went in the house, she said, man, she said, I just sit up and eat it. It's so good. I wish you would have bought that other flavor. I said, what other flavor you wanted? Because she wanted to try something different. She mm -hmm. said, well, I like pineapples, but I like the mango, the peach mango. I said, well, I had put an extra one in the car for you because I knew you was going to ask mm -hmm. for it. Oh, OK. OK, well, how about this? Since I'm going to go ahead and get two, let me go ahead and get the strawberry for my son. I said, yeah, I had put an extra one in the car for him, too. <laughs> I really did. I just put them all in the car because I situations like that. Right. No, it's, it's better to be prepared, you know, overall. And so. I had to learn that, um, again, when I, when, I, when I hear T, I say that, you know, stop looking at what you ain't got and start being thankful for what you do have. Um, I used to always say, man, I ain't got no money. Mm. I want to take my kids here, but I ain't got this and I ain't got that. And when I started this business, I was not employed. I did not have a job. I went into my job. Um, I went to a job fair and I applied to be a delivery driver. And I was pulled by, I, I say an angel. I was pulled by an mm -hmm. angel. Hey, this is not the job for you. This is the job for you. Let's go interview for this. I had my interview. I went back a few days later, had my second interview. And again, my, my, my latest degree is in criminal justice, not human resource. I was at the police department before I before I'm where I am now. And I was like, man, I know nothing about human resource. What am I going to do? Mm. I am a wonderful, excellent human resource assistant. You understand? I, I do. Mean. I take pride in my job. And then when I clock out, I still have to clock back in and make sure that my people have what they have to be successfully healed 
and feeling good naturally from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Mm. So you got to be thankful for what you have right now. Okay. You can't be looking at what you don't have. You got to be thankful for what you already got. I love it. You can, you couldn't have said it any better. Mm -hmm. That's right. So Courtney, if anyone wants to get in contact with you, whether it be about Jack of all trades or they just had some general questions about, uh, you know, CMOS jail. How could we and our listeners contact you? What's the best method? I have an email that comes through as a text message. Okay. My email is cmatthews20 at yahoo.com. Okay. I can also be found on Facebook if you just type in Courtney Matthews. Nothing um perfect. It's just Courtney Matthews. You can type that in. Um, and I also created an Instagram today. So my Instagram name is Jack of all trades. I do not have any friends as of yet, because again, it's only two hours old. So <laughs> for all of the listeners, <laughs> add me as a friend, follow me on Instagram, because that is really um the way that I'm going to try to outreach my business to other states as far as Atlanta, um, Tallahassee, Florida. I mean, I, I've had people, I have family uh, Boston, Massachusetts. I have had family that I've had to ship plenty to. And of course, just word of mouth, it's been very, very successful. But I've had a lot of other people reach out and say, hey, if you come and do this convention for me, and man, if you can bring 60 to 75 jars, I need all my people to get this stuff because they need it. So um, Instagram again, Jack of all trades on Instagram. Um, Facebook is Courtney Matthews and email is cmatthews20 at Yahoo. And if you just shoot me an email again, it comes as a text message. I typically respond five to 10 minutes. So that is. Yeah. That's Courtney. Thank you so much for doing this interview. I look forward to uh, get, getting a job myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to yeah, see what this is Yeah, of course. You have to. Wonderful. It's wonderful. It'll right. have you dancing, skating. If you ain't got no skates on, you'll be sliding in your socks. It's good right. for you. I'm, I'm cool with sliding in my socks because I can't <laughs> skate. So that'll work for me. And then <laughs> and then for the women, like my customers say, you hey, your stomach want to be flat as the flow and waist snatch like a bad child at the grocery store. You better get you some sea mouth because that's what she said. So hey, it works. That. And with that being said, thank you so much, Courtney. And yes. uh, this has been Sir 2020 Podcast LLC. And we are out.